Hey guys, it's Jmov. Um, so I'm using a little bit of a different camera now. That's gonna help. Um, I'm gonna have a DSLR uh, once I move in a day or two, um, but I'm using a different camera on my computer that's gonna be a much higher resolution. And I have a much stronger microphone now. Um, I have one of those Yeti microphones for podcasts and shit. So hopefully we're gonna have a stable angle from now on as well as stable audio and video quality. There won't be so much fucking floodlighting normally like illuminating my face like I'm an angel. Okay. Um, what I wanted to cover today is again I'm I'm not like now I'm like starting to like come up on a whole bunch of quantity of videos like in my channel, but I promise you I'm not gonna go ever into any any fluff topics like even like as abstract as like a period video might be like I gave up one about and it didn't even get many views it's surprising like I talk about how to overcome the period objection okay periods are five days a week there's 30 days in a month it's gonna happen one in six times one in six times you take a girl home from a club one in six times you take her home from a date one in six times you hang out with a fuck buddy it's like a real thing you're gonna to need to address unless you just want to unless you first of all don't want to fuck a girl on a period which is fine it's not that big of a deal because there's not even that much blood. Second of all, um, and I talk about how you can put down a towel or take a shower. Second of all, um, some of you might just want to like skip out on that one or six times, whatever. I made a video about it because I've never seen a video about it and it's an important topic. So like this one is going to be about marriage, okay? I'm going to give you my thoughts on that. I had, for, for those of you that have been following my channel, um, I had a big conversation with my, I have like this master player uncle who's like the best natural I've ever met. And he's taught me a lot of stuff. Like, watch my video about boundaries as a man. He taught me a lot of those principles. Um, I reference him in other videos. Um, but he ended up getting married. He super regrets it. And we had a really long conversation about it today. He's, like, super envious of me and, like, the player life and all that stuff that he used to have. Um, but I'll go over kind of the considerations here. But just, again, once to, to reiterate, once again, as, as these view, Like, I'm putting out a video a day. Like, if you guys are seeing this, I have a whole fucking list of shit. And I'm not really going into like the super mechanics of my product. Like in my product, I'm like, here's all like the fucking details and blueprint to pulling from a club. Like I'm not, I'm probably not going to cover stuff like that on my YouTube. Like I'm going to leave some really core key things um, for my product, like in my product alone. I'm um, just trying to give you guys a lot of value and a lot of help and a lot of like structure and, like, and a lot of help on other side topic areas um, along, you know, with the core stuff for my product. So... What did he say about marriage? Um, so basically, first off, for those of you that don't know, I'm, I assume most of you already know this, but, but for those of you that don't know, like in, in the United States, for instance, which is, I, I can see on YouTube where these views are coming from, it's it's like 40% United States, whatever, but I don't know how it works in your specific country if you're not from the US, but I think it's mostly like this in the Western world, that if you get divorced once you are married, the woman can take half of your stuff if you didn't sign a prenuptial agreement. So he didn't sign one, you know, he was like, because things are always good. Like, he, this is how he described it. He's like, and they're not getting divorced or anything right now. But he, I mean, he wants to, but they basically had a kid. And now, like, he fucking uh, is stuck. Like, you know, he's, he doesn't want to lose custody of the kid. He doesn't want some fucking asshole, like, being the daddy. You know, having his son call that guy daddy and all this other shit. Losing control over the parenting, that kind of stuff. But... um what was my point? Oh, okay, so so he was saying like, he's like, dude, when you're like dating, dating the girl, like she has motivation to like take care of her physical appearance. Why? Because if she gets fat, you could leave her. If she becomes like unhygienic, you could leave her. Um, you can like enforce boundaries and like keep her in check because why? If she fucks up and like pulls some shit, you can leave her. Okay, you can get some other girl. You don't. There's no fucking bond. There's not. There's nothing at stake. Right? But all the laws are written that once you form this marriage bond, that now the guy is in like this huge, huge, huge position of weakness. Assuming you didn't sign a prenuptial agreement, which as I stated in the tactical game breakdown video, that means that it's like a legal agreement saying that if you get divorced, that she can't take half your shit. But here's the thing. Most men do not sign those to fact. And the ones that bring it up to get like a ton of shit from the girl. Like for, for those of you that have had any experience dating, you know, when like a girl fucks up or even sometimes when you make a valid point, if it's against her agenda, she'll like throw it all in your face. Like it's, it's like the worst fucking feeling when, when a girl fucks up and you call her out and she just tries to like throw it all in your face. So like it's totally fucking reasonable to want to sign a prenuptial agreement, right? Cause what you earn should be for you, you know, not saying that like you should be selfish or whatever, but it's just protecting yourself, right? Cause you don't know how things are going to go down the road. 
And he was giving me all these examples of friends of his, because he's like almost 50 now. All these examples of friends of his where like the, the, the girl fucking cheated like and was caught. So like he gave me, I'll tell, that example, I'll tell like one of the really good examples in a second. Um, basically, um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, like, okay, so like, like most men that will bring up this prenuptial thing, the woman's like, oh, you don't value our marriage, or you don't think this is going to work out, or how dare you, right? But the man isn't in a good position there. Like, what if the man got half the shit? And the woman was like, hey, can we sign a prenup? And you're like, no, like, it's very fair to want a 50-50 thing, right? Like, maybe in, maybe this used to be like an old, and maybe it made more sense in the olden days, like when women weren't working and stuff like that, because maybe like the woman, like, couldn't depend, you know, that's where child support and all this stuff comes from, because women weren't working. So it's like, how is this child going to be raised by the mother if she doesn't have a job and doesn't have a, a career and, sh and stuff like that, right? So, um, basically, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get into that story now. So, um, so this story, um, sorry, I'm like, this shit's like fucking popping up. All right, so with this story, he had a friend, right? And this friend was like making a lot of money, right? He didn't get a prenup, got married, had some kids with this with this woman, and things are seemingly going okay, right? Of course, the woman's becoming like more and more like you can't really enforce boundaries anymore a lot, of, a lot of these times in these marriages. This is what he was trying to explain to me. He's like the king of like the boundary stuff. Watch my video on boundaries. I'll link to it at the end. And he fucking taught me all that shit. Like these strong fucking lines in the sand, how you stand up for them and all this shit. When you can't really do much, like what's he going to do? Like it, if he wanted to like hard, hard, hard enforce a boundary, he would literally have to be like, okay, here's half my stuff. Or once the kid's involved, here's half my stuff and here's, Go raise this kid with someone else that I don't know, and you know it's gonna fuck up the kid's life and all this shit. And like, so he's he's like the, he's like my wife looks at me like, yeah, like fuck you, fuck off, or like whatever. Like I'm not gonna respect that. Whatever the boundary is, I'm not gonna respect you getting mad about that. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. What are you gonna do about it? And it's and he's like one of the most alpha guys I know, but it, the system is causing it. And I, I'm not telling you guys like you should not get married or whatever like that's totally up to you i'm just trying to educate you about the facts of the system i don't know what a lot of your guys end goal on this is i, I the, the more i've thought about it i'm not just saying after this conversation but the more i've assessed all this stuff and i talked about my tactical game breakdown like how like i've cultivated myself into this like super alpha player dude who i, I can't just turn that switch off now like i gave an example how i cheated on a 9-5 like seven times and i wasn't even going out i wasn't even going on tinder i wasn't even looking for it it's just rules that I, I met in an Uber or on a plane ride or whatever, and it should just happen. It, that doesn't make me like a huge bastard or whatever. Like I should, probably shouldn't have cheated, but it's really hard to just lock it all up, it's, you know? And that chick was, she like texted her ex and stuff like that. Like, like she fucked up too. Um, but my, my point is with this story, so, so this dude, um, he's making a whole bunch of money. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious with this floodlight on my face. It's, cra it's crazy because like a lot of these other coaches, they have like these like grandiose like someone's following them with a camera with like the background blurred and stuff like in <laughs> New York, like Times Square or whatever. Like you know they have like these picturesque backdrops and stuff. I just have like fucking random lighting and ra like I'm in my friend's basement right now, with, like random lighting, like random fucking camera angles and like different equipment every time, and or I'm getting fucking hammered. I actually quit drinking. That's why I might seem a little more collected on, on my more recent videos. I actually quit drinking like three or four days ago because I'm about to, about to go on a huge fitness kick. Or I'm going to get like really jacked within the next three months. Um, I'm like 195 pounds. I'm going to get up at six foot four. I'm going to get up to uh, probably like 230 to 240 range. Um, eat, eat like a fucking horse because I'm an ectomorph. And just fucking get huge. So with uh, Sonny Arvado's direction. So, um, okay, so in this story, <laughs> I, I can see myself like in the, in the preview here and I, I just look like uh, angelic. So, but yeah, I quit the drinking just because it's going to detract from my progress and I, 
sometimes I get I get like a fucking off the wall. I think I think in that tactical game breakdown, I drank like a full bottle of rum over that five and a half hour <laughs> period, and by the end was just like busting jokes and stuff. All right, so this dude making a lot of money, has a bunch of fucking kids, big house. Now what happens? His wife's like fucking being bitchy and stuff. Whatever, he's tolerating it. Can't do anything about it. She's in this power position. And now what? What, what happens next? He comes home early one day from work and finds out that she is like basically catches her in bed with another, another dude so the dude's like fucking scrambling out the house with his clothes and shit fucking sheets are still warm fucking disgusting right really really fucked up really sad i talked about my my tactical game breakdown too i have to keep fucking shouting out these videos but i talk about how um it's really fucking sad um like, she probably married that guy for his money in the first place, and the guy she was fucking was probably an alpha dude. And, you know, she's got the stability with the fucking husband and the kids, and then she's getting, like, her primal, like... Because monogamy is not natural, I talked about in that video. She's getting her primal, like, tick down, so to speak, from this alpha dude. So anyways, what happens? He, he fucking files a divorce. And now in this case, he, he got really fucked. Like, she took, like, the entire house, right? Like, like it's supposed to be 50-50, but... The judge can rule on certain things. Like, in a fair legal system, a chick fucking up her, like, duties as a, a wife and, you know, her contract, her special promise as a wife and stuff like that by fucking some dude in, in this dude's bed that's providing for her, like, she should fucking have to pay him. Um, but instead, she, he lost his whole nice house. Like, he built this whole house himself. Like, fucking grinded, grinded out his work and all this shit to make the money to even afford a house like this. Lost it. Um... <laughs> it's, it's like insane and, th and then like uh, he got he only gets to see the kids on the weekends right and it gets even worse like he had like a teenage daughter or whatever and the, and the mother is like letting her just like run around with like all these like fucking drug dealer dudes and like fucking scumbag dudes and she's just getting fucked by all these like fucking low life fucking like you know low income area dudes like just pieces of shit that the dad would never let her hang around with and the mom's like she's my daughter I'll let her do whatever I want like fuck off so like his daughter is getting like turned out as a hoe like you know by these fucking scumbags <clears throat> he lost his house he lost half his money he has to pay child support um he, he can't see his kids until the weekend like his children are being molded by first of all his wife is obviously is not a good person doesn't give a fuck and he, he's lost his influence to mold them and some random fucking Scott, like I think she like ended up like get, like getting with that fucking dude she was cheating with, and now that dude's raising her fucking kids. So I'm not gonna tell story after story. He t he went on for like hours, and I was like, holy fuck. And I've heard this kind of stuff before, but he just kept stressing like, do not get married, do not get married, do not get married, do not get married. Like a society like paints it all up as like this is where you have to go, like this is where you where things have to be. Like he he said you can have the exact same relationship like because think about it, marriage is just an abstract concept right think about it like let's let's be real for a second um it's just a label but it's a label along with these legal papers that allow you to get half your shit taken and that allow you to get your house taken that allow you to get your kids taken and raised by another dude so he's like I mean, if you have kids it's a different story but he's like if you don't have plan on having kids he's like never fucking do the legal contract of marriage because there's no advantage like, except for like a minor tax advantage or whatever. But like, there's no event, like, you literally are just stripping yourself of all your powers, man. And then these women are free to just like fucking walk on you to just like, like he says his wife just like eats waffles all the time and like drinks soda. And he's like, you know what, dude, that's, like, you're getting like bigger. Like she had to like fucking buy new pants and shit. And she like, she used to be hot. And it's fucking sad. And he, and he like tries to crack down and be like, yo, like, can you eat healthier? And she's like, fuck off, I'll do what I want. It's like what motivation like she like you're it's basically like your fucking hand is twist arm is twisted behind your behind your back and they have you down on the fucking table and it's like i mean i, I don't i don't think she's cheated or anything like that but it's like they can and you get fucked like if you like come down too hard and then they can leave you and you're fucked like at, at any time like you, you are the one that will be fucked as the man it's the same thing with like legal cases like i in my arrest video I talk about, here's a girl that made all these 
er like er not only erroneous but just fucking totally ridiculous and objectively empirically wrong claims like lying under oath and stuff like that like like at one point i'm not going to go into all the details but at one point she says she's being carried past the security booth and she, and she didn't have the occasion to stop them and let them know she was being kidnapped but she thought she was legitimately being kidnapped right or with, with her claiming being child locked in the car and i disproved that and while going out to the, the security desk like i show a still you know from the casino footage of her holding my hand smiling laughing within an arm's reach of security testifying under oath that i was carrying her that she knew i was carrying her because she wasn't being influenced by alcohol and that she chose to remain calm like just all this total bullshit, right and and i risked like 10 years minimum in jail like becoming a sex offender i have all these fucking losers on the forums that just are like rapist rapist rape and there was no sex in the case i'll reiterate that a hundred times actually i probably i'll probably just anytime people just post that i'm just gonna link to my video it's just it's just it just gets so annoying and so so old um it's like it's like if someone like paid for i don't even know what to go now like if someone paid for an item was like leaving a store and they're like i don't i don't even know what a good analogy was and, so, and somehow like everyone was calling him a murderer or something like that and it, and it turns out like he didn't even steal anything which is like the, what the real accusation was over like they're like oh you tried to leave and get your money i don't know i don't know what a fucking good analogy is you get my point it's like totally ridiculous but this girl's face was kept hidden from the public her name was kept hidden from the public she had to pay zero dollars like for her to come like testify at the preliminary hearing like they flew her back out from oklahoma for free put her up in a hotel for free like all the fucking heat even though i didn't do anything wrong all the heat like reputationally came down to me like the risk against my life and i told him i'm like dude like this sounds like what i went through like and he's like yeah he's like like at that point like when they claim something like this like, if she, like she claimed this false accusation on me she's like i'm all in like what are you gonna do like like what are you gonna do like hope you have a good hand right and i either like fucking as like come away from this like with just a whole bunch of damages for no reason okay and then i go about my life you know or i or i fucking go to prison so like for no reason and in this situation like the woman is in the position at any point to like take away all your shit right and like there's nothing you can do like like she's got you by the arm and there's no consequences on her like she can go fuck a dude in your bed and if you don't like that she's gonna take your kids in your house and your money that's there's the big takeaway there's a big realization. So he's so he's like, dude, um, if you want to, that's just how our society is. It favors women. It's it's fucking totally out of control. I'm not being a. This isn't a men's movement or misogyny. It's, just, it's objectively out of control. It should be fucking fifty fifty, right? Like, like, like I said in my arrest video, like, could I have claimed I was being kidnapped at that point when I was holding her hand, smiling, laughing? Oh, I chose to remain calm. I chose not to alert security. I I was kidnapped. She kidnapped me. No, they'd be like, okay, we're locking you up for like falsely accusing someone of a crime like, that's actually like a real thing is that you can't falsely accuse people of crimes she can women can it's, and i gave an example in that video like i had a friend in vegas and like he got a divorce with his wife and she didn't want 50 50 custody she wanted 100 percent custody so she made up a fake child molestation case and he went through the same nightmare i did fully fabricated but he paid tens of thousands of dollars got his reputation destroyed he was like a fucking zombie for a year and he's like i would never do that i'm like dude i know you're a really good guy and he went through it because the woman thought hmm i could get 50 50 or i could roll the dice and maybe get 100 percent. but if it doesn't work out i still get 50 50 it's not i could roll the dice and maybe get 100 percent. and if they find out i'm lying i go to jail no of course not okay so the point here is that without being all dramatic and blah 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 as a man this isn't misogyny this isn't men's movement you need to protect yourself, which means, and I, I will just say it actually, I, I will just say it, I don't think anyone should ever sign a marriage contract. I'll just say it. And that doesn't mean you need to be a player for life. Oh, it's like the fucking rap songs. Um, he said, if you really like a girl, be be like life partners or whatever, like, like, be, like, have like the marriage without the label. Like, you can live together, like, you can do everything that a husband and wife would do, but don't, put yourself in that compromising situation and he's like all the fucking sparks or not sparks but like all the good parts will remain he's like the good parts like all die as soon as um as soon as you sign that contract that legal contract because it, like say you're say say you have like two parallel lives right like one you sign the contract one you don't 
The, the one you sign the contract, the woman can just let her body go. And you'll stay with her. In this case, you'll be like, I'm, I'm probably going to leave you if you just fucking become a slob. And so she'll go to the gym. In this case, you know, she she's like, oh, I can fuck dudes in his bed or like whatever host of like terrible things they do to men. Especially like the one, especially when they don't respect the men, which is most cases because they married a beta guy and they're just using him for stability or for financial freedom. And then they're going to fucking other people. And, it, and I'll, I'll get into a little, one more little aside off that for why that happens in a second. Um, but I don't want to, I don't want to turn these videos into long speeches. I had a few long ones where I need to make some important points, but in general, these will be short. Um, so like in that parallel situation, like when she crosses a boundary here, like it's kind of like a fuck you, right? What are you going to do? And you're like, well, I don't want to lose half my shit, especially, especially once the kid's involved. Over here, it's like, oh yeah, fuck me? Okay, let me go hit up this girl. Like when, you ready to, when you're ready to fucking behave, which might not ever happen, and which is totally fine, then, you know, so you can fucking, you can maintain your power over here, but not over here. That's my point. And... As, as glorified as marriage is in our society and everyone wants to, you know, not, not everyone, but people want this, oh, well, what are you going to do when you're older? Don't you want a companion? You can have that fucking companion, right? I think personally, I'm going to probably run rotations my whole life. And people say, well, what about when you're 40? When you're 50? I'm still going to run rotations. Like, believe it or not, young chicks in their 20s, I have plenty of friends like in their late 40s, 50s, whatever, that are still banging 18-year-olds and 19-year-olds and 20-year-olds. Especially in places like Ukraine, like they don't give a flying fuck about your age. But even in the U.S., most of them don't. Have you ever heard chicks like older dudes? I know plenty of hot chicks that won't even date dudes below 35. Like I just turned 34. Like some of them are like, you're too. Like I have like 21 year olds sometimes that are like, you're too young for me. And like I'll bang them anyways. I'll be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'll be like, you know, those guys like probably are probably gonna get back problems. You know, I just make jokes about it. I'm like, I can fuck you better and all this shit. Like, oh, yeah, like all this stupid shit. But a, lot, but a lot of these young chicks, like, there's, like, a special set of hot chicks that only want to fuck old dudes. Like, they just like the old dudes are, like, more centered. They're, they have more money. They're more, like, they have, like, more grounding and, like, life experience. And they're more mature and all this shit. Um, so that's, like, besides the point. But I will probably run rotations. Like, I've said in other videos, I run, like, 6 to 12 girl rotations, usually with one or two main girls. And I will probably do that forever. Like if I'm being totally honest, like I might like pare it down, like kind of a long, I'll, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Kind of, a, I want to run kind of like the Hugh Hefner thing minus the money um, down the road. Probably not in the, in the too distant future. Like maybe after, maybe after I fucking hit a thousand or something. Um, I want to like put like three hot, cool bi chicks that are smart, preferably just like three, but like dream girl type chicks or maybe two or maybe five or four. I'm going to experiment with the number and stuff like that. I'm, I'm like researching like Hugh Hefner's like, uh, cause he came up with like all these like rules and like ways to like keep them in line and like keep everyone happy and all this shit and like make them jealous of each other and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I kind of want to like build that environment and, but I want to, I want them to be able to be like cycled out. Like as soon as they fuck up or as soon as they get boring, I want to have like a queue bit, so to speak of girls waiting, like, and mostly just nine fives. Like I want to fuck around with like eight fives and nines. It's like nine fives and above, which for me would include like mostly girls with fake tits and tattoos, tight waist, pretty face, nice eyes, fucking juicy ass, like smart, um, maybe piercings. That's the kind of shit I'm into personally. Latina. Um, but that's probably how. That's probably the way I'll run things. And virtual sex, believe it or not, guys, will probably be here in the next 10 years, like almost guaranteed. So like for me, I'll be like 44, which I'm like still well in the runnings for, for young hot chicks. Um, but once virtual sex is here, it's basically nano, nanobots are gonna like block sensory inputs that are coming into your brain and replace them with artificial signals. So it'll be like basically like the movie, The Matrix. Like if you look around reality right now, your consciousness is just in, interpreting the world based on sensory inputs. So in nanotechnology, little microscopic nano robots block those sensory inputs. <laughs> Sound like such a nerd. Um, you're going to have like this artificial world and you're going to be able to fuck tens all the time. And people are like, well, that's not real. It's going to appear just like it does in real life. So when you can fuck, that's what I'm going to do. Even with lots of game skills and shit. Why would I go fucking try to meet girls at the club or whatever, or whatever the situation is going to be when the paradigm shifts 
when I can just fuck tens all day and like fly around and like, <laughs> like that's literally what it'll be like there'll be like no limits for money and ethics and physics and law and also it's just gonna be like mania like there's gonna be like ways to like do drugs where like it's there's no side of no negative side effects and you know it's, it's gonna be a whole nother world but for the meantime I I don't know I think I, I think rotations provide the best value because you're not giving away that power with that stupid legal contract and I do think even with just monogamy like dudes start to get jealous dudes start to get needy dudes start to get controlling those are all unattractive traits to the woman like even that even happens to me when I get like really really into a chick I'll start like thinking about her all the time and I'm like fuck and it's just it's just a function of like oxytocin in your brain and it's a function of like the straight like semantic strength of neuronal um connections and, and synapses in your brain is a function of frequency and recency so when you spend a whole lot of time with a chick and this this usually happens with girlfriends or or main fuck buddies or whatever you start to like slip into like these bad behaviors that could cause you to lose the chick such as like thinking about her too much like um you know like fucking uh texting her a lot like you know, getting too jealous of her, like all, like all these things are like really shitty. But when you when you run a rotation and you're seeing each one like less, then you keep all that in line. Okay, um, I'll try to keep this right on the thirty minute mark. So that's really all that needs to be said. I mean, I mean, he he went on and on and on and on about all like the hells of marriage and like how even my fucking grandpa bit, bitches and I see how my mom treats my dad and shit. And, like these men, they, these are like all these were all cool men. They still are, but they're just like oppressed now. And they're just, what are they going to do? Go fucking, go jump on Match.com, like abandon their family. Like, they're fucking toast. Like, that's it. And they're just slaving away at their jobs. Like, can't wait to get home to my fucking bitch cunt wife, right? Like, who's like constantly like, you know, got me, whatever the fucking term is. You know, and this, got me in this fucking, like, vice or whatever where... I can't, I can't fucking do shit about it or she's going to like run off with half my shit and fuck up my kids' lives and fuck up my life, right? So it, at least I come from like, I'm not religious, but I come from a religious family. So at least there's like, not like all these cheating nightmares going on where like the women are fucking dudes in, in the husband's bed and shit. Like that shit's just like beyond out of control. Like that poor guy fucking, imagine you, you build all this shit, right? With your own hands, you work hard and some fucking bitch fucks a dude in your bed like sends your daughter off to like fuck all these scumbags um takes the kids five days out of the seven takes your whole fucking house that you built and like half your money and you're like sending child support payments like here like take everything i've built because you're a piece of shit right and it was probably i'm sure the signs were there um earlier and he fucking ignored them and thought everything would be like this fairy tale and shit but you guys i'm not trying to tell you guys to be like hard and cold and motionless and stuff but you just got to be aware of what the fuck's going on like I've stated before, I've fucked, I'm not proud of this, but I've fucked like countless married women and girls with uh, boyfriends. I'm not trying to sound like a scumbag. I actually don't do that shit anymore. Not for moral reasons, but safety reasons. <laughs> um, but I've talked with a lot of them and they're just, the common story is like the dude is too beta. It's almost always the story. You think they're going to go cheat on some fucking badass elf motherfucker? No. I mean, maybe sometimes if they're like a super slut, but usually not. Um, so the dude's too beta, the dude's like too, displaying too much low value shit, or he's too needy, or he's, that's why you need to get good at this shit, like now, before you get to that point, and, like, you're gonna lose your shit, like, like, that's where a lot of you are headed, it's sad, you're gonna, you're gonna fucking settle for, like, a girl that used to be an 8, or, like, a 7.5, or a 7, and she's drifted into, like, the 6 range, or seven six five range, or whatever, and, like, you have, like, the love goggles on, and you're like, oh, like, I'm just gonna... Everything's gonna work out or whatever, and then she's fucking some like jacked alpha dude that has, that's way cooler than you in your bed while you're at work, and she, they're usually really fucking careful about this. Like a lot of these girls are like, "Yeah, I've been fucking dudes behind my husband's back for like years, for like five years, for ten years." Do you want to be that guy? Like you're getting like straight punked. Like you're fucking working your ass off at work. Like oh, I can't wait to get home to fucking Karen or whatever the fuck, and she's like fucking getting pounded out by who knows who fucking Joe Plummer in your fucking home and this is going on for 10 years right and then and then like you're like tired from work and you're like doing all this housework and cleaning the dishes and you're like 
hey, sweetie, like, how about a little romance in the bedroom? And she's like, no, I'm too tired. Because she fucked this plumber all day. I'm not saying, like, just every time the, the wife is tired, she's been fucking someone. <laughs> but, like, do you want to be that guy? Like, think about how fucking sad that is. Like, maybe she has, like, a fucking mouthful of cum and she's, like, kissing this. I'm not trying to be, like, make this extreme, but... This is going on all over our fucking world. I've, I've talked to these girls. It's, it's fucking disgusting. It's really pathetic. It's really sad. But this is where you're headed. Like, I, I mean, I'm advocating, even even apart from becoming alpha and not, not being that guy that gets punked, I'm advocating a step further. Don't sign that contract because there's no advantage to it except for a minor tax advantage. Um, fuck what society or your family thinks. I'm, I'm being serious about that Like, because you're going to face tons of flack from your family. Oh, you guys have been together three years or five years. Well, like, why haven't you gotten married yet? Like, everybody else is getting married. Who cares, right? Like, maybe you get fucking sick of her. Maybe she becomes a huge fucking cunt. Maybe she cheats on you. Maybe there's an endless amount of scenarios. Maybe she just becomes too ugly, like, not to be shallow, but maybe she does. You know? In one situation, I don't remember which side was which. It was this one. You have the out. In the other situation, you don't, and you're stuck. And we only get one life. So the purpose of this video, and he really enlightened me today, was just like, don't fucking get stuck. He's like, dude, I'm not, he's like, he's because like, he, he knows like I'm this like massive player and like, I tell him all these stories. And he's like, you have hot bitches all the time, right? I'm like, well, he knows that, but he's like, he's like, confer he's like going into an argument. He's, I'm like, yeah. He's like, why would you want to give that up? I'm like, I don't know. Like, you know, if I meet a full package chick I really like or whatever. And he's like, yeah, but he's like, it's one girl. He's like, he's like, it's like watching the same porn over and over. I'm like, I know, and I talked about that in my other video, I talked about how like a 9 drifts into like the 8 range and the 7 range, this happens in a matter of months, he's like, try fucking a girl for 5 years, he's like, it's hard to even get your dick up, he's like, if you were watching the same porn <laughs> for 5 years in a row, it would literally be hard to like get your dick up anymore, and this is marriage, ta-da, and like, the wife's getting fat and getting more bitchy, and like, you're working harder, and like, everyone's resenting each other, and there's all this animosity in the home, and all I don't, I don't need to keep going on and on about this. What the fuck is this? Um, okay. Hold on a sec. It's fucking... <laughs> Bay... <laughs> it's like, not gonna get all that again. This goes back to the... I haven't looked at my phone for a while. And there's all these... I don't understand why they get so needy when you don't reply. I mean, look, look at it from my end. Like, I'm the alpha dude now. I'm, like, getting annoyed by the hot chicks texting. This is how I used to be like four or five years ago when I was texting them and they weren't replying I'm like hey like like it's like I'm like cycling their text right through my head like rereading the messages like did I fuck up like what's going on like why once you have like come out of the fucking once you've risen from the ashes or whatever, or whatever the fucking term is you just don't care anymore like like I think you guys would all refer to that as abundance it's just that I, I but it but it's not even really abundance like it's it's something more than that like I could literally like lose my whole rotation and I still would not care because I know I can just go rebuild it in like a week. Like, I can like rebuild it with all, like all hot girls again. You know, I may have to go out a couple extra nights or like use Tinder a little more or some shit like that, but I can just rebuild it quickly. And if I wanted to, I might not even want to because like sometimes they're fucking annoying. It sounds stupid, but I mean like my priorities now are, are in the gym, expanding my company. Um, you know, I have a whole bunch of books I want to read. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, like, out there, like, fucking pimping hard. Like, even though I'm at, like, 769 right now. Like, uh, a lot of people are like, when are you going to hit 1,000, blah, blah, blah. Or, like, all you're trying to do is, b like, bump your leg count. I've actually, like, massively deprioritized women lately just because, um, which probably won't last for long. But in the, for the, the short term here, as I get into my workout patterns and stuff, because I want to be jacked by the spring. It's, it's important to me. I want to be... I want to grow my business a lot bigger, my non-pickup business. Um, I have a bunch of other fucking goals, you know, health with health and longevity and stuff like that. For a long time, I will admit, like, girls were the most important thing. Like, when I was, like, really fucking cranking with this shit and innovating and evolving. It's not like by any means, like, I'm still super fucking into chicks. Like, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe, maybe Sonny's rubbing too much of his balance influence off on me, but, you know. He's, he's made me understand like it's not it's not all, it's not just all about that so um, basically um, what I want to really close on with that is like 
it's good to have the balance and stuff like that. And it's good to, you know, incorporate other aspects of your life with like the gym, with like, uh, like oh, I'm gonna be doing like a lot of Muay Thai again. Like I was doing Muay Thai a lot last year. If I got into that fight, like I need to like fucking do a whole bunch more of that. So by the spring, I'm gonna be like fucking really big, really fucking trained again in the gym. Um, and have a lot more money. Like I'm already doing really well with business, but I want to be doing even more well. And there's a bunch of books I want to read that will help facilitate the, those business goals. So you know, I'm still gonna fuck a lot, a lot of chicks. Like I'll probably hit 769. I'll probably hit 800 by probably around the time that I'm jacked. Um, so it's not like some big sacrifice, but it's just good to um, incorporate uh, a bunch of this balance stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah so i mean make sure you're fucking incorporating other balance stuff like it's awesome to do game all the time like i was just doing it like way too much like i was just like most of my time was going to that it was like cutting into my business stuff like not allowing time to like build a fitness and like a lot of health eating and stuff so okay so closing thoughts um with this marriage shit, like it's, oh, like I, I think I'm just gonna do the rotations. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably put like three super hot chicks in a residence, but until then, I'm gonna run six to twelve girl rotations with one or two main chicks. And if I, for some reason I want to like lock down ish again, I'm gonna do it without the label because there's no point. Like once you bring this label, a whole bunch of shit gets fucked up. And one last thing I will say that I want to touch on before that little side I mentioned is that. Western culture, this is talked about in Sonny Arvado's book of, ty of Tyrants and Tellers. Um, search that on Amazon, of Tyrants and Tellers. He talks about how, like, the media and, like, Western music, and, like, all this shit. Um, like, look at the Kardashians. Like, look at fucking... Like, look at, the, look at, like, the stars of the latest Star Wars movie. It, like, it just goes, like, on and on and on. Um, but what this is doing is it's fucking encouraging, like... The usurping of man's power, and the, this, none of this stuff is meant to be misogynistic, but like man is like has a war against him going on at a, at a whole bunch of fronts, culturally through the media, all this, all this shit. Um, you have to fucking like stand up for yourself. You have to protect yourself. You have to protect yourself legally. You have to protect yourself with losing your shit in marriage. You have to protect yourself with fucking getting a girl pregnant with a vasectomy. Watch my vasectomy video. I, I make a very good argument why it's not going to impact your life at all. It's super cheap, super quick. Anyone can afford it. It will protect you. So you, you have to protect yourself when your girl's pregnant. You have to protect your fucking assets by not getting married, by not signing a marriage contract. You have to protect yourself legally through, you know, not even going to go into that. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. But he, he talks about it in his book, um, like these girls, like, like the old, like your grandmother, like those girls had like morality. Those girls had like value. They respected men, all this shit and all this stuff that's swept into the Western culture. And you go to places like Eastern Europe and that those values still exist, but you've got McDonald's coming and Western movies and Western music and all that shit coming. And those places are going to be fucked soon too. But like when I was in Ukraine, the women don't lie. I'm not saying they all, none of them do, but it, it was like nine day difference. They weren't liars, they weren't cheaters, they weren't whores. They wouldn't close on the first dates or the first polls, which pissed me off, but it's it's good in some sense, like for a long-term partner. Um, they were, had like a submissive role, like cook, I'm not saying they should like know their place or something, but they would like, without me asking, like cook and clean and iron and like all this shit. And I was like, holy shit. And they just wanted to like live for you and like be like your companion and like raise a family and like have this like strong, there was like so much, tied like from familiar 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 <laughs> i'm gonna try to say you know what i'm trying to say family units and in the west it's just like all these fucking whores like running around cheating on each other like getting drunk like like the women in ukraine they had like multiple degrees they had they knew multiple languages they had like all these ambitions multiple jobs in a lot of cases um they weren't pieces of shit like there's something to be said for that like, it's cool to bang, like, easy sluts and stuff like that, but those girls are not quality girls. They're not, like, long-term partners. Um, so that's pretty much it. But that's, that ties us into this whole thing. Cause it's, like, Western culture has ruined a lot of women, which is going to cause them to go fuck that guy in your bed, 
which is going to cause them to lie to you, which is going to cause them to fucking try to wear the pants relationship and just be a huge bitch to you and all that stuff. All right, well, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I will have a more stable setup starting tomorrow so that I, my locations and lighting and all this shit won't be changing all the time. And I hope the video and audio has improved. Minus the, uh, the <laughs> be a good screensaver or, no, or a good desktop background here. So feel free if, uh, actually, I'll do it for the first two people that send me a, a screen, a screenshot of their desktop background with this. And like, you should on your honor, leave it there for like a week. <laughs> now I sound like I'm trying to start a cult like RST. No, I just think it's funny. Email me at epdatingcoach.com and I'll give you a free copy of my product. All right. Oh, by the way, I, I was, <laughs> this isn't a tangent, but, um, I love the fact that I'm like fucking being raw with you guys in these videos. I've watched, I've watched a lot of like other coaches videos over the years. And like, no, I'm not saying this is like the right way to do it the way I'm doing it, but like no one fucking swears. No one like drinks on camera. I'm not gonna be doing that anymore, but <laughs> no one's like cracking all these jokes all the time. They're like trying to keep it prof like professional and all this stuff. I can be professional. It's, it's kind of boring to me. I could, I could like sit here and be like, today we are going to discuss, you know, like all this stupid shit. You know, I don't really care about that. Or like fucking, you know, like I'm doing a, a, a video in someone's ba my friend's basement right now. Like a lot of people wouldn't do that. <laughs> They want to like have the camera follow them or like have some kind of cityscape or whatever. I don't give a shit. Um, and they don't call people out because they're a pussy. Like, like, like I already spoke before, like the Todd True stuff, like, like the the uh, the information itself is a fault, not any of the people. Very passive aggressive. Um, the video, <laughs> the video where he's like, my channel might get taken down. He's like, um, I mean, I feel for him because I've gotten attacked by these motherfuckers a whole bunch of times too. Um, but he's like, oh, like, <laughs> he's like, I'm not saying anyone did anything or it's anyone's fault, but I had 8,000 dislikes overnight, and that's that seems improbable. <laughs> it's like, Todd, just fucking say, Papa, you're a fucking loser. I guess he's in a case now or whatever. You can't say that. I don't think he would say it anyways. Anyways, I hope you guys appreciate me uh, swearing and being raw and crazy and all this stuff on camera and all over the place. But I've been getting a lot of really good feedback on this channel. Um... The best video so far seems to be both, not only the tactical breakdown one, which is five hours. I know it's a long time, but you can do it. Um, but also the, the date straight to the house, which is only 10 minutes. So w watch that one first. And I've had, I've had all these dudes that are like, I haven't gotten laid in years. Like I have chicks coming to my house now or even like advanced friends or advanced guys I know in the community. They're like, dude, like this is like the missing link. Like I, like I'm having like all these girls, like cycling to my house now and i have another video on how to close them it's like what more like what more do you need i'll go over on how to get the, the leads more solid and other shit i have a whole bunch of other good topics coming let's make this fucking channel big share with your friends um subscribe wherever the fuck it is maybe here maybe here i don't know but subscribe um like blah 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 um or dislike if you're a fanboy for rsd all right thank you guys i will see you tomorrow